hi guys so today we are going to learn about another side effect that is produce state as you know we are making a series upon side effect and we have learned about launch effect remember coroutine scope remember updated state disposable effect and side effect so and today we are going to learn about produce state so if you haven't checked the other videos uh, i will recommend to go and check out the rest of the videos on side effect and so you will get to know more about side effects in jet pack compose so today we are going to learn about another side effect that is produced state which basically used to convert non-composed state into composed state so when we have a non-compose non-composable state and we can use produce state to convert into a composed state so what did produce state do it basically gives us a, a coroutine scope that basically can uh, push values to return into state and we can use it uh, for the same as like flow uh, live data and rx and so that and we can convert it to composition so for example when you have a uh, state uh, like uh, when we make a result class field class in which we must be having like loading error and success response so that is an state uh, response so what we can use is we can just get, give the composable to a state a return type as state and we can use produce state and it will basically then give us the result like in all the states uh, if we want either in the error state if we get any error then uh, or we can get a success uh, when we get the success response so even though the produce state is a coroutine we can also use it to uh, listen to observe the non uh, non suspending uh, data as you know in coroutine scope we use, we use coroutine scope to to coroutine scope to listen to our suspending functions so that's uh, about produce state and let's try it with an example so let me just create a file here new kotlin class or file that we can name it as produce state demo and let's just make it a file and we can now just let me start making a example we will make a composable function so it's in composable and like function produce state example so what we will have we are having is we are having a function composable function and to check to like how it will uh, how the produce state work we can have a state response and redx coroutine cause and let's have a run of int right so and in the function input we can have uh, like a timer something like timer and that is an int okay so what we are expecting here is we are expecting the result return as a state so to do this we can uh, simply use uh, we can just need to return we can use produce state and what it will do and we should need to give it a initial value and to listen we can just use the lambda and what it will do it will give us a coroutine scope so what it is saying produce state calls should assign a value inside the producer producer lambda so let's do this do it like this while we will have the value we will get the value is we can give it like this timer so what we will do is let's uh, give it a suspend function that is delay after two seconds what we will do is we will increase the value of uh, we will increase the value we will increase it like this right and 
so this is returning so initial value is uh, zero and so that is that's the initial state and when after two seconds of delay if we are increasing the value that will be the final value so that's how you can use the produce state as uh, in your uh, code to convert the non composed code into a composable and also if you see here like I uh, said to you so basically non composed state into composed state and for example same in the google example you will see like it's an example of a load image so uh, we have a state of result in which we are getting the image so initial is result dot loading and then we will load the uh, url from the repository and if we get the image as null then we can show the error otherwise we can show the success image so that's how you can use the produce state inside effect and to return a state and the same as you can uh, convert this into a flow as well if you want it will work like the same you can convert it flow and in flow uh, like flow of int and you can do it like this uh, same uh, way you can just convert it like initial value and you can increase it and uh, you, you will get the same response flow also gives us the values like the same way so the produce state is more similar uh, simpler so you can use it after this we have another side effect that is our derived state of uh, so before that um, there is a key point under the hood you, what they are saying is produce state makes the use of other effects so what it does is it holds a result variable using remember mutable state of initial value and triggers the producer blocks uh, a launch effect whenever the value is updated the producer block result state is updated to the new value so under the hood what is doing it is making uh, use of uh, other effect basically launch effect and uh, remember mutable state of so that's the, uh, that's what it's doing so we can also create our own uh, effect building on top of existing api so okay after this we have derived state of so what is derived state of that converts one or multiple state objects into another state so let's get it into a simpler way so what does derived state of do so what we do is use derived state of when a certain state is calculated or derived from other state objects using this function guarantees that the calculation will occur only whenever one of the state used in the calculation changes so for example what uh, it is used for is for example whenever you are using or doing a calculation or something like this in compose so what it will do is it will cache you the calculation for you initial calculation and it will only do the recalculation or decomposition whenever there is a change in the change happens in the calculation only then it will uh, work so to give to understand it in more simplest way we what we can do let's jump on to a example and we will then use it so here again let me make a new component class or file that is uh, derived state of demo derived state of demo or you can say I'm giving the name like this and let's make a composable function composable and function that is we can name it as derived derived state example state of example right let's make it like this so in derived state of example let's have a again let's have a timer right and let's have it like this by remember and in this we can have the initial value mutable state of that's n0 and we need to import it right okay yeah so we have the timer then what we will do is let's 
have another variable and that is we can have it like this like uh, uh, my timer timer which will be equals to I am timer I am timer or whatever you want to say you can uh, name it like this and just uh, have it like this timer right in okay after this what we will do is let's have a button in button on click what we will do is we are going to increase the timer so we can do is timer yes. and in the in here we will be having a text that will be my timer right so here what is happening is so initially we haven't used the derived state of here so when we are not using the derived state of here then what it will do is it will uh, every time when we are going to uh, click on the button and what it is going to do is it is going to recompute this string or uh, what we can say is what it is going to reconcat this timer with the string so every time it is going to do this and uh, in every recomposition it is going to do the same again so to avoid this recomposition or uh, recalculation what we can do is we can use the uh, derived state of so it will what it will do it will it will cache the its initial value and it will only change uh, it is going to change only when there is a change in the timer so whenever the time timer is going to update it will going to update this timer value only so when it is or uh, it is going to notify the all the composables where we have been used this my timer uh, like this value of this only the timer is changed and we can recache the timer so how we can use it we can just simply use it like this by derived state of and we can put it here like this and we can do it like this no time like this right so what the issue is okay so it only takes the well so uh, this is how you can use the derived state of and what is the documentation creates a state object whose state dot value is the result of calculation right so the result of the calculation will be cached in such a way that calling state value repeatedly will not cause calculation to be executed multiple times but reading state dot value will cause all the state objects that got read during the calculation to be read in current snapshot meaning that this will correctly subscribe to the derived state object if the value is being read in observed context such as composable function so basically that's what it's saying as well like it is going to be only it is going to cache uh, the value in such a way like it is going to be updated whenever there is a change in timer and it is going to notify the other composables as well and it is not going to reconcat this uh, value with the string again it is going to only to update this timer only so and also if you see in documentation so what it says is using this function guarantees that the calculation will only occur whenever one of the state used in the calculation changes so list of like the following example shows a basic to do list task under defined high priority keywords appears as like this review on block compose so calculate high priority task only when to do task or high priority key changes so this is uh, like the same way and they have used the derived state of so whenever there is a change and uh, uh, it is going to like uh, going to calculate the high priority task only when to do task or the basically that is a list of uh, or high priority keyword changes so the, uh, otherwise in the recomposition it is not going to uh, it not going to calculate again 
so that that is uh, about uh, like the derived state of and in this is the simplest example you can uh, try and check it and this is the official documentation if you want to see you can read more about it so that's it for today guys and i mean next we are going to learn about the snapshot flow that is the last one in the side effects and do let me know if you have any doubts and uh, and do let me know as well if you want me to make some videos on some specific topic and till then guys keep learning and you know keep liking subs and subscribe to this channel and share it with others as well and thank you for watching cheers bye